and welcome in to the third house of the Portland slash Happy Valley City Dreams. You're not gonna ask me what I do for a living? What's, what's going on? Come on, this is my house. Hey bro, what do you do for a living? You are greeted with the temperature controlled uh, wine cellar. The logic here is like, why would you hide all the wine that you have when you can show it off right when people enter the door, the front door? And as you walk through, you're like, oh, you know, normal, normal guest bedroom. Not a normal guest bedroom. In this guest bedroom, they have their own beverage station. Drinks, soda. They have their own sink that's not in the bathroom, which we're gonna go over to right now, which has probably the most insane, cool looking tile I have ever I have ever seen. Have you ever seen a cooler tile design down there? I have that's not. pretty neat. It's pretty cool. The floating sink here. This is very, it's very fancy schmancy. I'm gonna put a beverage station in my room. And we're gonna head upstairs, the floating sky bridge. Like, could you imagine having a sky bridge in your house? Uh, we're gonna take a left. This is the girl's bedroom. She works with a designer to design her own room, which is freaking sick. I wish when I was younger I had that ability. Really cool little like circular seating area. Uh, Connor, I just wanna let you know that you glow girl. Over here is the owner suite. Let me tell you, let me stop you right there. This is the most insane bathroom you were ever going to see. Like, come on in here. So. First of all, super spacious. Really like the tile design. Never seen anything like that. Have you ever seen like that? No, that's very interesting. I've never seen anything like that. This is like, I thought it was like a jacuzzi, but I guess it's like carbonated. So you can like sodify yourself. So while you're becoming a can of LaCroix, you can always be watching the game. But if you're like, oh, I want to actually shower, you also get a little another TV. Because why the heck not? You can spin this way. You're like, oh, there's one game, but now I just the game. Walk in here. Again, we always talk about this closet, but really it's, it's like a closed room. It's freaking huge, but come on. And then Connor can follow me into the bedroom area. You got a nice little balcony out to the pool, which is super cool. That rhymes. <laughs> we're going to then go, and we're gonna walk across the sky bridge. This is so cool. This never gets old. Like, this, can you imagine having a sky bridge in your house? Like, come on. This is the hangout spot. This is the chill room. So not only do you have four beds, two bunk beds, each one has their own light right here and a place where you can plug in your phone. Oh, just kidding, four beds? No, actually it's six beds. And I forget what these are called. Uh, pull out beds. I don't think that's what they're called. <laughs> step brothers. <laughs> Massive kitchen to entertain. So this is like a very expensive and thick, girthy uh, dining table, knock on wood. Huge fire pit. There's no shortage of TVs. You're never gonna miss a moment. You're never gonna miss a moment. I'm gonna trademark that. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Just how big this is. Like, I mean, obviously I'm not a tall human being. I'm about five, five foot nine. But this is massive, as you can see. Now we're gonna head over to show you the freaking cool places. So to our right is the office. And the office here is supposed to uh, represent kind of a... Whiskey lounge. Whiskey lounge, thank you, Connor. If you want some peace and quiet, but you can always see what's going on. So you got a nice little glass sliding door. Whoever this is, because we don't know who owns this house, but whoever owns this has a fantastic taste in art. As you see, we have Lauren Hill, Piggy Smalls. We actually don't know who that middle lady is, so if you know who it is, please comment. Uh, obviously Bob Marley, and then we have Dave Chappelle over there. But a fantastic bar, nicely stocked. This is um, definitely ready for us, Connor. Oh, you can wash your glasses. That's so cool. Again, I'm not a very large human being, but, oh, but uh, woo, look at how big this is. Our favorite spot in the house. Of all the amenities you've seen, you haven't seen this. It also comes with a freaking basketball court. Isn't that crazy? What the heck is that? Why is there a door up there? So that's actually the electronics, long story short. So you gotta have uh oh. All right, so that concludes the tour of the third and final home of the 2021 Portland Happy Valley Street of Dreams. Make sure to comment, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and